Megan Fox shuts down the haters after receiving heat online for posting a link to her nail tech's GoFundMe page instead of offering to pay the $60,000 request herself. Wow. The actress shared this message to her Insta story Thursday, kicking things off with, hey weirdos. Sometimes I'm surprised by how eccentric I am. Megan asks if her critics have the emotional intelligence to consider that her nail tech might not want her celeb clients donating large sums of money to her because it creates a dynamic in her working relationships that makes her uncomfortable. Meg explains that the nail tech asked her to post the GoFundMe link in hopes that her many followers might be able to donate, writing, I just obliged her request. And for anyone accusing Megan of lacking generosity, she says not so fast. Try again another day, probably tomorrow, with some different bull****, you bunch of psychos. This is f***ing awful. The Transformer star posted the GoFundMe link on her account earlier this week, sharing that her friend's dad had been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Meg asked her followers, if you guys are able to help, please do. The goal was originally $30,000, but has since been up to $60,000. So far, a little more than $8,000 has been donated. As for Megan, she's been standing up for herself online a lot recently. Earlier this week, Meg slammed the trolls who threw shade after she wore this sheer striped orange Jean-Paul Gaultier dress to dinner in Malibu with her fiance Machine Gun Kelly and Maud's son, giving a closer look at the head-turning ensemble on Instagram and writing in the caption, before you start angrily typing, those are not my nipples, calm down. Megan explained that she was wearing pasties, so no worries, we will all live another day without a rip in the space-time continuum. How did you coordinate these outfits this evening? He was like, you're gonna be naked tonight. And I was like, whatever you say, daddy, whatever daddy says. And while she might be quick to address her haters, Megan is keeping her relationship a little closer to the vest. I've sought throughout my life a lot of different forms of therapy. E.T. recently learned that the two are still in couples therapy, working on keeping their twin flame alive. We've done every form of therapy that exists. Um, we've found a therapist that really works for us, couples and individually. And um, it's definitely a process. It's not an easy one. Um, some, of, some of it's really difficult, but our therapist said that a relationship is basically the process of breaking each other down, but most people don't have the tools to build each other back up, to rebuild. And so it's a constant process of like suffering and passion and love and the repeat cycle. So we're just learning that and navigating that and doing that together.